Hi there, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna host our static website, on Google Firebase. Here I found a project on CodePen, it's created by Leah Tizenant. I put the link in the description. Now I want to host this website on Firebase. First things first, go to the Firebase website and log into your console. Now here click on the add project, choose a name for it. Notice that this name will be your domain name too. I don't want Google Analytics for this project, so I disable it. Now it's creating our project. It takes about one minute long. OK then, on the left panel, click on the hosting option. Click on the get started. We need to install Firebase CLI, so we need to have npm and Node.js installed. If you haven't Node.js, go to its website and install the latest version, it's easy to set up. Once you install that, open the terminal or command prompt and type node-v. It must show the version of node you just installed. OK, I already downloaded the project files, you can download the projects on CodePen by export option. Now open your project in versus code or any ID you want. Now go to the terminal, and type, npm in it for initializing the npm packages. Leave the options as default. Then say npm install to install default packages. Now go to the next step, we should type firebase login command. Now go to the terminal and paste the command for installing firebase command line interface. Now go to the next step, we should type firebase login command. Open the link that it gives to you and log into your account. The next step is Firebase in it. Here choose the fourth option, hit space and then hit enter. Choose use an existing project and select the project we already made. Choose public directory as default. I want to configure it as single page application so I say yes. I don't want to build it by GitHub so I say no. Now you can see it create a public folder with an index.html file in it. Remove that since we have our files already. Now move the files in dist folder to the public folder. OK, finally the last step is Firebase deploy. Done, it creates our website, my address is modoscoding.web.app. 
If I open the link I can see my website. Notice that you can only host static websites this way, means you can't host backend scripts like PHP, Java or Python. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe, see you later.